Joining us now is someone I'm very excited to talk to. Thank him so much for taking some time out with us. He's a guy who's done it all in the world of pro wrestling, and uh, he's going to tell us some fun stories today. Uh, the one and only Jack Victory. Jack, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure, my friend. Um, I know we've been trying to plan this for uh, months and uh, and uh, a lot of curveballs, but uh, you you caught me in my truck anyway. So, <laughs> um, yeah, let's go for it. We got uh, we got some really great stories and uh, and uh, fire away. Talk to you about working for Bill Watts. Ooh, that was my first. Uh, that was my first real experience with wrestling. Um, right out of high school, I was born and raised in New Jersey. Um, right out of high school, I hooked up with a bunch of independents uh, that, that worked around Jersey. And that's how I learned a little bit of experience uh, in the business. I, I never went to a wrestling school. I learned everything by watching and actually getting in there and doing it. Um, Bill, uh, I wanted to go to the next level. So um, I got some advice from uh, Nature Boy Buddy uh, Rogers um, one day. He, he, uh, he, he said, kid, you got to, you got to film your matches and you got to send your matches. Uh, you got to send to back then it was tapes, you know, we couldn't do anything on our phones <laughs> and send it back then it was tapes. So it was uh, a v VHS tapes and I sent them to all the promotions um, around the country. And uh, Bill Dundee, who was uh, Bill Watts's uh, uh, booker at the time called me and uh, I think I almost hung up on him because I didn't believe it. Um, you know, you know, I was a young kid, uh, you know, not much experience whatsoever, but, but they actually did call me, flew me down to, uh, to Houston. Um, I did a double shot cause Bill Watts was, uh, famous for double shots. Um, we did a, it was a Houston show and I'm pretty sure I'm, I don't know the second one, but, uh, they, uh, I, I think I wrestled, true, I forget, Sonny, Sonny King. Do you remember that name, Sonny King? Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I wrestled Sonny King uh, twice, you know. Uh, Bill went, you know, after the, after the second match, um, Bill talked to me, blah, blah, blah. He says, I'll get a hold of you, kid. Um, I liked what I saw, and... Uh, they flew me home back to Jersey and, uh, hell, I think it was about two to three weeks later. Um, I get a phone call from uh, bill and he goes, this is your starting date. It didn't take long to learn how to work <laughs> in, in that territory. I'll tell you, we worked eight shows a week, um, and drove every show. There was no, there was no fancy flying and no catering and none of that crap, you know, some some shows you would uh, uh they would be back to back shows you would have to wrestle stay in your gear jump in your car and shoot uh you know 2 to 300 miles to the next town and uh but, but we'll tell you to go home because because all the other boys are are behind us you know what i'm saying so you would have to eat up some time and uh but it it was a blast i mean you know, all the, the talent that was there, um, you know, the DiBiase's, the flares, they always, they always came out, watched my match, told me what I was doing wrong. And that was, you know, so much better than going to a wrestling school. You know, I, I learned, uh, I learned the hard way I learned in the ring, you know, so it was, uh, it was a dream come true. What was Bill Watts like as a boss? Oh, Boy, I'm sure I'm sure you've heard horrific stories about Bill. Um, man, I, 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 it's hard for me to say bad things about a man that gave me my first job. I mean, he he lived his gimmick. Uh, one of the boys, um, big big on kayfabe. If if you if you roll down the road, uh, he'll babyface, and he found out about it. 
it was not good, man. It was, it was going to cost you money. Sometimes it would cost you a job. Um, he had uh, two separate dressing rooms, baby face heels. He, uh, he lived and breathed. Uh, he lived and breathed kayfabe. And um, I really respect that. You know, I, I look back now, what we did back in the day, um, and I really respect that on him. And he was just, he was beyond time, um, you know, and when I say beyond time, it, it was two hours before the show, most of the time, if we didn't have double shots, you know, double shots, uh, the fines didn't come out. Um, me and Bill got along great. He did fire me one my dumb ass wanted to get married. And, and I said, Bill, can I have a couple of days off? I, I would like to, I would like to go uh, on a honeymoon. And um, he goes, kid, how many days are you talking? I said, maybe three or four, right? You know, just, I'll just fly to the Bahamas, bring the old lady and uh, you know, uh, hit the sun. And um, he was, oh, he was like, okay, I'll, I'll give you five days off. I said, okay, great. So I planned my wedding, blah, 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 flew there, came back. He goes, kid, I got to fire you. And I go, you're firing me when I got back from my honeymoon? He goes, yeah, but I got you a job uh, in world class. You're going to world class. I said, damn, okay. Um, so that's when I started in world class. So Bill, t he, he fired me, but he took care of me. And then he hired me back after that, so. I can't, uh, I can't talk bad about the guy. Before we go to World Class, though, any good uh, John Tatum and Missy Hyatt stories? Any Eddie Gilbert stories? I mean, you had a, well, you worked with a lot of talent there. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, me and Johnny were getting a really good push uh, um, with Watts, uh, and, and then, well, I mean. I I thought it was just one of her her hiccups uh so many of them and uh why we were together um but no, when johnny said no it's a shoot man she's leaving me for eddie i was like damn we we got to work that into some kind of gimmick and johnny was i mean give it to johnny it was i'm sure it was hard for him to to work that angle but he, he did a really bang up job uh they drew a lot of money um it was like it was like a, a shoot, you know, um, but they worked it, you know, so it was, it was, uh, it was pretty cool. Did you first hook up with the, uh, the sheep herders in Texas? I, 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 I was with the sheep herders. No, I was in the sheep herders with Watts. Oh, and Watts. Okay. I got it. Got it. Got yeah. It. I, yep. Yep. Me. That was my first really, um, uh, you know, after about a year working first second third match yeah me and sean was married for about a year um he broke in the business around the same time uh, as i did um and right after that uh ken mantell took over as the booker for uh for bill watts and uh butch and luke were there and uh uh they needed a, a flag guy and they they hooked me up with uh with butch and luke and uh that was, that was a really cool, that was a really cool learning experience. Um, going from the first, second, third match, all, you know, mostly into the main events with them guys, you know, we, uh, we did, we did a, I, we did a, um, an angle with the Fantastics in, uh, Terry Taylor, sorry, uh, in a Bob wire cage match with them guys. And, uh, we, we brought that all the way around the whole territory and uh, good times. It was, it, it was a great learning experience. Um, Bill Watts had awesome talent. Um, as you know, if you were a, if you were a mid South were, um, UWF fan back in the day, what's the biggest difference between working for Bill Watts and working for Fritz? Uh, Fritz was not there all the time. Um, Hell, I think I only met him, you know, I think there was only the, Thursdays were uh, 
booking meetings and meetings and and this and this and this, what we were going to do for the next week. So I met him, met him there a couple times, but um, uh, it it was he 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 stayed out of the uh, out of the uh, the spotlight when we were there, you know. Talk to you about the Von Erich boys. Any good stories of, of any of them? Whoa, they were uh, they were a handful. Oh, um, you know, I they were they were the closest thing to God in Texas than God himself. Um, they could do no wrong. Um, if they, if one of them, two of them, or, you know, the multiple ones were on a card, you know, uh, you know, it was going to be a great house and, uh, more than likely it was going to be a sellout. Um, we, a lot of people don't realize that we did a bunch of small, small shows around, uh, around Texas. You know, the Sportatorium and, uh, and Fort Worth uh, was the main, the main, uh, the main things, the, the TV uh, show. Hey, I'm almost killed myself. Um, was the main, uh, was the main draws. Uh, I think Fort Worth was Monday nights and then the Sportatorium was Friday nights. But then on Saturdays and Sundays, we used to go around Texas and uh, we used to draw some really huge crowds, man. Especially if one of the Von Erichs was on the was was on the card, um, it was such a different thing because you went from working eight shows working for Watts to maybe five shows a week working for Fritz. There was never no double shots or anything like that. Um, the big shows, the big anniversary shows, the Texas Stadium shows. Um, the fairground shows, they were huge, man. They were, they were big, big shows uh, back in the day. You know, not Vince McMahon shows nowadays. I mean, not 80,000, but we used to draw 40,000, which back in, wow. that, in the days, you know, was pretty damn good. Um, they, uh, you know, they, they fought with a lot of demons and, um, Unfortunately, the demons caught up to a lot of them, you know, uh, they were, it's a shame. It's a shame that, uh, what happened to that family. But just to back up, that's one question I didn't ask when you were in mid South was uh, JYD there. He was, who's more over, was JYD in mid South or the Von Erichs in Texas. Oh man. I, I, <laughs> I have to go with the Von Erichs. I really do. Yeah. Especially Kevin. I mean, I mean, Kerry. Yeah, uh, you know, Kerry was, he was God. I mean, he was over, you know, and he was over in a lot of other places too, where uh, JYD was over. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think it was the heel talent that helped JD get over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I think I, I, I would, I would bet the Von Erics in Texas.